2021 has been the year that we learned to live with COVID. And despite lockdown, everything seemed to accelerate around us. And that included the amount of entrepreneurial activity that we saw in the USW community. We saw record investment into Australian startups with over $1 billion of funding announced in a single week of September. More than 2,000 new jobs were created every day. The jobless rate falling in all mainland states except Victoria, with more people now in work than before the pandemic. This year, the Founders team had over 12,000 UNSW students, staff and alumni participate in our programs. We supported over 200 UNSW startups, 44% of which had at least one woman founder. And we grew the equity value of our Founders Fund to over $1 million. Hi, I'm David Burt, the Director of Entrepreneurship at UNSW, and welcome to our Year in Review. We kicked off the year celebrating the 21st birthday of the Peter Farrell Cup, UNSW's longest running student pitch competition. We had a record turnout for the Cup, with 113 teams vying to get fast-tracked as the next generation of UNSW founders. Following our competitive selection process, the top 50 teams completed an action-packed 10 weeks of mentoring and pitch training. Then from there, the top 10 teams proceeded to the live finals held in person on the main stage at NIDA. This year's winner was TeachFlows, with its mission to transform any classroom resource into an unforgettable online activity in less than five minutes. This year, we also created a new category for our higher degree by research students, where the winner was Beagle, who developed a non-invasive breath test for the early detection of lung cancer. You have this idea in your head that you want to commercialize an idea, but it's not until you enter the Peter Farrell Cup and you sort of talk to all the founders and everyone that, that, that's there to help you, that you realize how much is actually involved. And it actually helps a lot having people who are so experienced, who can guide you on every step of the way. In May, we then delivered our popular pre-accelerator program. This year, 25 startups were selected to participate in the five-week health pre-accelerator program, where they benefited from tailored business modules and health-specific topics, such as health economics and clinical trials. In July, back in lockdown, we then selected 12 of the highest potential UNSW startups that we found in 2021 and put them through our 10X Accelerator. Six of these startups went through our Health 10X stream, which we deliver in partnership with the George Institute for Global Health. Our focus was to get the founders investment ready. The team set goals and met each Monday to track their success. Every Wednesday and Friday, we ran sessions where experienced founders investors and domain experts share their detailed knowledge and practical tips. Health 10X harnesses the global health expertise of the George and the extensive entrepreneurship knowledge of UNSW founders to offer dedicated support for early stage health startups. As a founder, one of the most important things that you can build up is your network. And that's something that Health 10X does really well. They know how to connect you to different people and connect you to the people that can actually accelerate your startup. I think just being in the community of uh, really supportive people, really impressive founders and things that have given us tips along the way, I just I feel much more prepared to take on the world outside of the program. Through the intensive three month process of 10X, we helped our startups to deliver standout results. For example, Automy, an intelligent platform that automates the creation of marketing assets for the medical industry, secured investment and major partnerships. Assurance Lab, a platform that automates audit review, reached $2 million of annual recurring revenue. And VidUp, a student team that placed second in this year's Peter Farrell Cup, completed a successful customer pilot program and then went on to win the New South Wales PC Pitch Competition. These 12 startups join a growing portfolio of over 40 companies that UNSW has equity invested in through the 10X Accelerator process over the last four years. Some of these startups have already achieved breakout success, having both strong initial customer revenue as well as big capital raises. High Earth Orbit Robotics was this year selected into Y Combinator and raised over a million dollars in lightning speed at their demo day. In 2021, our previous accelerator participant Forage raised $34 million in a round that was led by Blackbird Ventures. Both startups 
credit 10x with giving them the boost they need to get started. New Wave, our dedicated program to increase women's participation in entrepreneurship, again proved popular. In 2021, we had over 160 women complete the program with participants ranging from an augmented reality product for e-commerce through to marine ecologists on a mission to regenerate our oceans. Through New Wave, women develop their entrepreneurial skills and networks. And due to this program, 44% of our startups have a woman co-founder, almost double the industry average. As world leaders converged on Glasgow for COP26, we did our bit to support net zero startups through our Sir Rupert Myers Sustainability Pitch Night and our Circular Economy Hackathon. The winners of the Circular Economy Hack, Team Aurora Boris, went on to become joint winners of the 2021 Climate Talks Global Hackathon, which was run by the International University's Climate Alliance. Welcome to the 2021 Circular Economy Resource Hack, which is this year focusing on positive communication for climate change. This UNSW hack is actually forming part of a global climate talks hackathon where there are universities around the world also hosting their own hack to address the issue of positive um, communication for climate change. We connect individuals with the community to reduce food waste by sharing household food surplus. Uplift gifts. Gift hampers with impact. Back to New Wave. In October, we launched the New Wave US Ready Bootcamp, a new program supported by the United States Embassy and Consulates to provide US focused bootcamp and mentoring program. We put 10 women-led startups through the program, which was designed to empower aspiring and established Australian women tech entrepreneurs to be in a position to export goods and services to the US. Some of the teams included New Wave Veterans Giveable, a sustainability startup which actually began their founder journey in New Wave back in 2019, then went on to complete the 10X program. Participants included also Club Mellon, a previous finalist in the Peter Farrell Cup, who also took out top prize in the New Wave Showcase event of 2019. Assurance Lab and At One, who completed our 10X program this year, also joined us in the US New Wave Ready program. In this program, they were guided by mentors well-versed in breaking into the US market, including Alexandra Smart and Trina Blair. Never before have I been in a program where every single week the program is adapted and new people are brought in to shed light on the things that we're, we're really interested in. Insightful and essential. Rewarding. Focused and resource providing. It's inspiring, but also nerve wracking. Captivating. To close out 2021, we redoubled our efforts to help in one of the areas where we have a big challenge in Australia, the lack of pre-seed funding. So in collaboration with the Australian Graduate School of Management, we delivered our Angel Investor Education course and unlocked a new batch of angel investors ready to provide early stage funding for UNSW startups. Last but not least, amidst the busy schedule of programs and events that we run across the Founders Program and at the Michael Crouch Innovation Center, we continued our ever popular Coach and Connect service. And this is the cornerstone of what we offer to the UNSW community. Through Coach and Connect, we provide one-to-one -one coaching and mentoring to help founders start and grow their companies. This year, our team of startup coaches delivered over 2,000 one-to-one coaching sessions. All in all, 2021 saw UNSW consolidate its place as Australia's most entrepreneurial university. Our planning for 2022 is already complete. We have a massive program of support ready for UNSW's entrepreneurs, starting with the 22nd Peter Farrell Cup pitch competition. So if you're a UNSW student with an idea for Australia's next startup, come and join us. Expressions of interest for the Peter Farrell Cup are open now. And as we wind down for a well-deserved break, I encourage you to think about the impact that you want to have in 2022. Because whatever your big idea might be, the UNSW Founders team is here to help you. Thank you, and I'll see you again in 2022.